Annie. Hello, dear. Hi, Mother. Am I interrupting? <laughs> yes, but come on in. I always like seeing you. Thanks a lot. I just came for a visit. I have a couple hours to kill between classes, so I thought I'd stop by and say hello. How do you like that? What can I do for you, Penny? Nothing, really. I just wanted to see you. Well, okay, then. Sit down. Perhaps if you just start at the top of whatever's on your mind, then maybe you'd be able to say it easier. Okay. MJ came home last night with the news of Eric Aldridge's kidnapping. Yes, that. Darling, forgive me. I knew, but I was sworn to secrecy. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't. I wasn't allowed to tell anybody. Oh, I know that. What a terrible thing to do to a little boy. Right. And his family. Well, everybody is very lucky that it turned out as it did. Yeah. I was wondering what you think of uh, Dr. Werner and Kara Lee. What do I think of them? Well, you said to start at the top. Yes, I did, didn't I? Well, I think that their action, their actions, were both foolish and utterly beautiful. Foolish and beautiful? Well, that makes them stupid, but wonderful, right? <laughs> and brave. I thought it was fantastic, the way they just rushed in like that to save Eric. I mean, they didn't even care about the fact that their own lives were in danger. All they cared about was saving their son. And you admired that? Oh, of course. Don't you? Oh, I did. I, I mean, that's what I said. I mean, that's what I thought that I was saying. I wonder if I'd have the guts to do something like that. But I guess that's one of those things you can't really know until after the fact. You're absolutely right. We just don't know. We hope, don't we, that we're going to be heroic if we're put to the test. At the same time, we want to be lucky enough not to be put to that test too often. Well, I'm going to be facing some of my own pretty soon. Or at least I hope I will be. You are? On the paramedical unit, you know, once it really starts functioning. Ah, yes, the famed paramedical unit. Do I hear the clanging of you climbing into the saddle of your white charger as you charge off, brandishing your idealism? Well, my idealism, as you call it, died a few years ago. But I do feel it stirring again, and I do hope to do some good work on the unit. I think it's marvelous if that's what you wanted to. Well, I think it's marvelous that you think so. Well, I won't take up any more of your time. Darling, I'm just... Well, I'm hoping that um, you're not going to be too disappointed when the paramedical unit gets off the ground. How do you mean? Well, I believe that you're going to find that it entails uh, more tedium and more hard work and politicking than heroics. Oh, well, maybe, but I guess that's another one of those things that you can't really know until after the fact. I'll see you later. Sweetheart, did you come here because you wanted to know whether I would risk my life to save you if you were in danger? Why would I come here to ask you something like that? Darling, your life isn't in danger, and I hope it's never going to be. I hope that you understand something. I'm here, and I'm here for you. And I'm here if you need me, or if you want me. And if there's anything you need, and it doesn't have to be heroic, it can be anything. Got anything in mind? 
You tell me. Well, the way I've been going through money lately, I just might have to take you up on your offer and hit you for a loan. Okay, let me know. Meantime, you sure that... Are you sure you're okay now? You don't need anything. Mother, really, I just came by to say hello. See you later. like that I'm looking at the door like that please out of my way so I can see it you're a little crazy you know that I think you have to be I really do why is it that whenever I walk into this hospital everybody thinks it's to see Rico not everybody thinks it Penny just those of us who know you <laughs> What are you doing here? Actually, I don't know. I dropped by to see my mother. You dropped by to see your mother? You two have been working together too long. You're beginning to sound alike. No, Penny, I live with you, remember? You usually go out of your way to avoid your mother. That's true, I guess. But... I don't know. Okay, what is it? I really don't know, MJ. I just sometimes get this urge to find out who she is and what she's really like. But... Go on. But something inside me stops me, and I won't let myself do it. I suddenly find myself getting angry over nothing or getting sarcastic when I had no intention of it. Should I assume that's what happened today when you dropped in to see her? Sort of, but today I think I... Oh, never mind. No, 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 come on, Penny. It's not going to do you any good to keep it to yourself. All right. Today, I think I set her up. Set her up? What do you mean? Well, I really wanted to see her, you know? I just wanted to talk to her. Ever since you came home with that story about Eric being kidnapped, I've been thinking about mothers and maternal instinct and motherly love. And having a mother, naturally, you thought of your own, right? Right. And, I mean, she's done some things that I will never forgive her for. But she's my mother. She loves you. Well, she did at one time. I guess she does now. I know she does, Penny. Do you ever wonder if your mother really loves you? No, never. I had another problem. Too much love. I was smothered, which means I was pretty repressed. Hmm. Maybe that's why I'm uh, as, quote, nice, unquote, as I am. I see. Actually, that's why I admire your gutsiness. My gutsiness? You really think I'm gutsy, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> why? No reason. <laughs> We're getting sidetracked. What happened today with your mother? Nothing really happened, but I think I came here because I wanted to feel some of that maternal instinct from her. I wanted to feel some of that love. But then I just wouldn't let her, MJ. Something inside me just wouldn't let her. That's sad, Penny. I know. You know, this is really good for me to talk about it, though. I should do it more often. I never do. Why don't we go home and talk? Oh, Penny, Listen, I... why don't we get a pizza and some wine 
And just sit home and talk all evening. Just you, me, and a pizza. Penny, I would we can absolutely talk about things love that are really important. You know, things that we don't usually talk about but should. I'm sure there's things that you don't usually talk about but should. Alan. Hi, Penny. How are you? Well, you ready to go? Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I was trying to tell you. I, I'm going out tonight. Can we do it tomorrow night, okay? All fine. Okay. Have a nice time. All right, Penny. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hello again, Mother. I couldn't help overhearing. You want loose ends tonight? Oh, no. It's nothing. It was just an idea. Because, um, I've got company coming over, but you're more than welcome to join us. Oh. No, thanks anyway, but, uh, I can't, really. I've got some things I have to sort out, and I have to do it on my own. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs>